My name is Davin Lopez. I'm CEO and President of Mesilla Valley Economic Development Alliance, also known as MAVITA. What we're trying to do is we're asking the legislature to remove some language in the ability for utilities to provide economic development rates um, to companies that are coming into the area. Right now in our coverage territory with El Paso Electric, El Paso Electric can offer economic development rates in El Paso, but they cannot do so in New Mexico because we do not have excess capacity. So what we're asking the legislature to do is remove this language, these words, excess capacity, so that we can begin to have dialogue with companies and the PRC so that we can offer economic development rates and really be at par with, uh, with the rates that are being offered in El Paso. We've been working with the Jobs Council for about 18 months now. The Jobs Council's really uh, leadership from the legislature on both sides of the aisle uh, looking at solutions for job creation. They have, over the past 18 months, come out with a recommendation and list of what they believe are components that will help job creation throughout the state. What Mavita and the DACLC is supporting is their top three recommendations and that's increased funding of our job training incentive program, which is JTIP. Also, stronger financing for our LIDA, which is basically a closing fund to help bring more projects and companies to New Mexico. And third really is to increase the marketing budget uh, for the New Mexico Partnership, which is the state marketing arm for economic development. There's a number of issues that are going to impact economic development and, and, and unfortunately in one legislative session we can only tackle a few at a time. But some of, the other, uh, some of the other recommendations that are out there that the DACLC is supporting do include, number one is removal of protest clauses from county industrial revenue bonds. Industrial revenue bonds are one of the only localized incentives that cities and counties have to really try to attract the types of companies that they want to bring to their areas. And right now there is a disparity between language in the law for city industrial revenue bonds versus county industrial revenue bonds and because of that it puts the county at a significant disadvantage in their ability to offer these incentives to companies. So we're asking for uh, some changes to support the removal of protest clauses within industrial revenue bonds, that's one of them. And then of course infrastructure as we all know is just absolutely critical if we're going to attract companies and more job creation. Specifically we all know about the growth in Santa Teresa. Right now Airport Road which leads to the airport down in Santa Teresa but is also the feeder into the industrial base is in, in disarray and needs significant repairs. So we're supporting requests by the county to the state to allocate dollars for reparation to those roads uh, down there so that we can attract more businesses. And then along with that, we've, we've talked about the southern road to Spaceport America. We're supporting some recommendations to have that converted to a state road um, for further maintenance down the line. 